This is the type of shit you gotta deal with when driving through the streets in DC. A whole bunch of kids riding their bikes up the damn street, blocking up traffic, riding willies and shit. I mean, we used to do that shit when I was a kid as far as riding willies and all that good shit, but we ain't about to block up no damn traffic. Like, seriously though, get your ass out the damn street. The shit's really going on. Badasses. Look, you ain't even got the little kid up, up there. Crazy shit. Got them everywhere. You do wildin' out, boy. Craziness. Riding bicycles backwards, his ass gonna run into something. <laughs> Crazy chick. Thank you. I did. I did speak to them. Thank you, Mama. I don't need to have a child, so I don't know where to go. Man, what in the ride share chronicles? This lady was talking on her phone as if she was in her living room with her feet kicked up in her rocking chair or her armoire or whatever you have. She's sitting there loud as hell, laughing loud as hell. <laughs> talking loud and some more shit. And I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck? So then she decides to put the joint on speaker as if I wanted to hear their conversation as if I'm sitting there like, you know, we talking and she wanted me to hear what this person had to say. I'm sitting there like, turn that shit off. Nobody want to hear all that cackling and shit. Like, damn. Shit is absolutely crazy, man. I tell you, sometimes the, 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 the people that get in this car, man, it freaking, it, it's just wild, man. It's just absolutely wild. You know, but I don't know, man. It sounded like they was having a good time, you know. You know, they she was sending so many blessings to the woman or whatever. I don't know if it was her birthday or or what, but you know, she just kept saying, you know, God bless you, God bless you. Which again, it's nothing wrong with that. I get that, but at the same time, I'm sitting there like, damn, like I'm trying to drive in peace, ride in peace. Like, why you gotta do all the cackling and shit, you know? And then the fact that the damn trip turned out to be like 29 minutes. And it was a damn, almost damn near 29 minutes of all that. And I'm just like, oh, man. I was just like, ah. Oh. Tired as I am, man, I ain't want to hear all that shit. I just wanted to, I was hoping to have a short ride, a drop her off, and then be on to the next. But, I don't know, today I've been getting a lot of long rides. Um, but, you know, that one there, it, it, it made me wish and remember the times that I would be up in my truck and that peace and quietness, man, it is nothing like it. You know, you driving along, you know, looking at the countryside, listening to your music, whatever you have going on. And like I said, just riding in peace, man. It, it used to be so freaking nice. Um, I don't know, but uh, yeah. So anyways, that's my little piece of my uh, ride share chronicles going on today. Um, I don't know, ain't much going on, man. Um, I was down on uh, 
I forget what was that, uh, 15th Street? Yeah, 15th. And um, came across the Black Lives uh, Matter um, monument or whatever you want to call it. When it had the Black Lives Matter go on down the street or whatever. Man, that was pretty cool. I think it's actually on 14th. I, I might be wrong. It might be on 14th. But anyways, um, you know, that was pretty cool too. And I went over to the White House. Um, you know, took a few pictures in front of the White House, got some footage and stuff. So actually I don't think I got no footage. I just took pictures of the White House. In front of the White House. You know, there's a lot of people standing over there and like I was like, damn, you know, it's crazy that some people have actually jumped that damn fence. Like, where do you think you're going? How far do you think you're going to get, you know, before somebody shoots you in your ass? Like, I wouldn't dare do no shit like that shit. I ain't even want to get as close to the fence as I did. I was like, I ain't want to touch the bitch. I just wanted to basically take that picture, and then I rolled the fuck out. I wasn't trying to get shot up. Like, fuck that. They mistake my ass and shit. Like, oh, he's trying to jump. And like, fuck, no, I'm not. I'm just taking the picture. You know, so... Anyway... Pretty quiet day, man. It's a Friday, but I imagine that tonight, you know, it's gonna jump off, you know. So we're gonna see what we can get into tonight. Hopefully, you get some rowdy ones. Hopefully, it won't be throwing up in the car and shit like that, though, pissing and doing some crazy shit. But you know, I ain't really had nothing crazy, crazy yet, you know. Um, I've been here, people tell me about some of their crazy stories and stuff, and I'm just waiting to see, you know, what kind of crazy shit I get. But they, as they say, you better be careful what you ask for. You know, but as long as they don't fucking touch me or do nothing crazy, we good. But you put your hands on me. You put your paws on me. I mean, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to rearrange that face of yours, you know. So, uh, hey, man, I got a question for y'all. Like, so uh, I saw something earlier. It was in reference to a lot lizards. Somebody had named their trucking company uh, something lot lizards or whatever case may be but it's almost like they were glorifying it or whatever but I, I got a question how many of you one how many of you have had lot lizards approach you you know comment down below let me know how many lot lizards have approached you but on top of that does lot lizards approach the women at the truck stop too the the, the female truck drivers those of you that are women on my channel man I want y'all to comment down below and let me know if lot lizards approach you guys as well and if so like do they like offer the same or ask the same, you know, shit that they ask the men or whatever? I mean, I'm just curious because I'm like that one that I had when I was in Chicago, like that was a weird one because she just walks up. Well, she asked for money. You know, she asked if I had a few dollars so she can get something to eat, I think. But, you know, um, I don't know, maybe that was part of her game or something like that. But I was like, nah, I'm good. I ain't got no money. I said, nobody carries dollars anymore. We all, you know, everything's on a card. But, um, anyways, yeah, comment down below. Let me know, you know, how many of you have had lot lizards and what was the wildest thing that has, uh, you know, taken place in reference to these lot lizards? What was what was some of the stuff they, they offered you, whatever the case may be? So, yeah, comment down below, man. Tell me about your story, man. I want to hear all about it, you know. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm a... Try to get down here, back down here to uh, D.C. and see if I can actually um, find uh, some rides or whatever. It's Friday night, man. Anything's bound to happen. So let's go get it. Let's get this money.